Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I'm here in the beautiful Harpswell, Maine on Stover's Cove, and I'm gonna be giving you a tour of my vacation home. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines, I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. If you like learning about DIY, home decor, and really all things home related, consider subscribing to my channel below and turning the notifications on because I bring you weekly tutorials on these topics, and I'd love it if you joined me. This week is a very special week for me because I am here back at my home in Harpswell, Maine, where we called home for a few years before moving to Florida, and today, I'm gonna give you a tour. We now rent it out as a vacation property on Airbnb and VRBO. Harpswell is just a little slice of heaven. We love it here, and I hope that you really enjoy the decor. So let's go on in. Okay, so as you can see, this is the entryway. From the get-go, it just hopefully screams coastal because we actually took the golden oak hardwood floors and we refinished them just prior to moving and we put kind of like a whitewash finish on it and so now they really lend itself to light and bright coastal and so let's go into the living room as you can see i have my couches that i mentioned in my pottery barn video these are where my steel that i found this is what it's all about right here we have a deck here and as you can see ah, the ocean we love our view we love smelling the ocean water and the feeling the ocean breeze it's amazing we've got a little pond and a fire pit we have had a lot of fun out at that fire pit and a lot of memories made here and now other people are making memories at our home, which makes us feel really good. So let's go back inside. We did a chalkboard wall, and I'll give you a tour of the kitchen here in just a second. But I just decided to leave all the little markings from our last guests here because I just liked that. So in the dining room, this table right here has seen nine lives. We've had a lot of family dinners at it. Um, it used to be like maple. I painted it probably like six or seven different colors, restained the top. I got these captain's chairs for free and I reupholstered those. Over here on this little love seat, I did a slip cover for it and now it's just a perfect place to sit and read a book while you're looking at the ocean view. One of my favorite projects I did in this home was redoing and renovating this kitchen. Blood, sweat, and tears into this kitchen, honestly. I did all of this wainscoting. Um, we put in new granite countertops. Of course, you know me, I'm always trying to save money, and so I got the best deal ever on that. And then to add some variation, I um, put I raised the height of the cabinets here. I took off some doors here and turned this into like an open area. I kind of also did that over here in the kitchen. I removed the doors and turned that into a shelf, added some height and some molding on top of the cabinets. I added molding all the way around the tops as well as just this is kind of a small detail, but I did it on the bottom as well, but it really kind of finishes off the look. I did the tile backsplash, which is a white beveled subway tile that I just love. We've kept the decor pretty simple in here for the vacation rental purposes, but we really love it in here. Now, one of my favorite rooms, and it's kind of a silly room, and it's not finished in my mind. So this was like the biggest eyesore when we first bought it. Um, the walls were poorly painted yellow. It had really ghastly blue linoleum on the floor. It was just terrible. We just kind of did a shiplap wall here with the sign. Such a simple, easy thing to do, but it really kind of set it off, especially for that coastal main fill as well as the flooring. This is actually just pill and stick tile that I've grouted and it looks like real tile. Super inexpensive to do this flooring. The one project that I didn't get done in here that I really wanted to is I wanted to do some built-in lockers on this wall. I just think it would 
be really amazing for a mud room to have lockers but you know we had to move and it didn't get done but maybe one day so let's go into the uh, another room so come on here so on the main floor there is one bedroom here it's a queen size of course you've got ocean views and i just created a simple canopy so another one of my favorite projects that i did is i built this desk area this is actually where i worked on my master's degree and i spent a lot of time in here crafting and working on schoolwork and so but i built it from wood so let's go over here you go down this hall these are just a couple of storage closets and then we go into our main floor bathroom and in here i just painted the vanity and the mirror above it i put up the wallpaper um, i would still like to switch out the flooring and such but for right now i'm really happy with how that turned out so now i'm going to take you upstairs at the top of the stairs you turn to the left and this was our master bedroom i did these mirrored nightstands like a decade ago they've followed me around through multiple moves i loved them they found their final place here and i just think that they fit perfectly and this is like the coolest find ever this is like the law of attraction in action right here because i was obsessing over this headboard and this bed um, at a design store that i worked at forever and it's worth thousands and thousands of dollars because it's by stanley and I found it in a thrift store for a hundred bucks and I bought it when I really couldn't afford it, but it was a birthday present and I was so happy. So I love this headboard. It's beautiful. It's timeless. And then I was able to find this antique over here. I found this on like Craigslist and it really matches the wood tones of the headboard and I really loved it. Then of course, my pottery barn bedding that I mentioned in one of my last videos. So this is actually connected to our master bedroom as well as the hallways. Even though this is our master bedroom, we shared the bath, but there is a room in here that kind of has its own private bath and I'll show that to you. That's my favorite room in the whole house. And so in here, I didn't really do much other than paint the walls and put on some new hardware. I kept it simple here, and but it works. So this is actually where my two little guys, this was their bedroom and now it's a perfect place for kids it's got a set of bunk beds and honestly it might have the best view in the whole house all right and now i get to take you to my daughter's bedroom she's actually behind the camera today so i'm so excited to see her because we haven't seen each other in months and she is filming so let's go check out her bedroom so funny thing in maine they actually don't have regular hvac systems so all of the rooms have individual air conditioner units. That's kind of a foreign concept to some areas in the country, but this is really common in Maine. We got the headboard for like $50 and the nightstands I got at the thrift store like many years ago. I've had them forever and I just gave them a fresh look with a paint job. And she has a pretty good size bedroom. And I didn't do a whole lot in here other just than a little bit of decor okay so this is kind of an interesting transition we're going to walk through a laundry room and then a closet that actually could be a second laundry room it's really weird there could be three laundry rooms in this house so somebody really wanted to do laundry i don't i hate laundry but they have three places to do laundry but only one set of washer and dryer so we're going to walk through here really quick there's not much to see so we're going to just walk right through okay so we are about to enter my favorite area in the whole house and probably the most drastic change this bathroom screams nautical i love it and i had been eyeing this vanity for months and months at uh, at lowe's and it was like 450 dollars and then i was able to snag this for like 125 dollars when it went on clearance so that was a huge huge buy and then of course i installed a nautical light fixture and a nautical mirror here i did the all over wallpaper stencil with the anchors on it and then again i did the pill and stick tile with the grout it's a very convincing if such a good idea if you want to keep costs down but have a look of tile so okay 
you should have seen this this was a diy gone totally wrong before i got up my hands on it um the only thing that i well let me just show you so there's a couple of finishing touches that i didn't get to and hopefully will want to get to eventually but i just love this space because before there was no character at all but now it screams main so some of the things that we did in here is i painted all the walls blue i added the beadboard up here um then of course we put in a bed with like that screams that nautical main look and then some brand new nightstands now a couple of really meaningful mementos that i want to show you first is a buoy from a dear friend of ours. It's my brother-in-law's father's buoy who has since passed away. My husband worked on his lobster boat for him when he was 16 years old. And so when he passed away, we were able to get one of his buoys and that is just a really meaningful thing for us. I had been eyeing this door at a local consignment store on Main Street in Brunswick and my sister-in-law surprised me as a gift and I knew it would be perfect in here so this is uh, an old captain store and so much fun and then of course my striped nautical wall I told you about last week my two dollar light fixture find well this is my two dollar china hutch find at a yard sale I put in some nautical anchor wallpaper on the back and it just is a perfect little touch in this little tiny studio apartment. Another one of my favorite meaningful mementos is my dad actually took this picture and he had it put up on canvas. So this is a scene right from our beach in Stover's Cove. So I got these chairs at the local restore for $25 a piece and I made white slip covers for them. Then I got this table at a yard sale for 30 bucks and the two chairs were a dollar piece at a yard sale. I just slapped some paint on it and called it a day and it's really cute in here. Okay, so this kitchen, I love. It just is so adorable in my mind. Um, these were pine cabinets. I went ahead and painted them out navy blue. I applied the brass hardware, which I just love. It has just such a very coastal nautical feel. And then I installed some beadboard and some open shelves. Do you see what that says? It says, welcome to the Callahan Family Lobster House and Seafood Restaurant. I had that made off of Etsy and I just thought that was such a perfect touch. And I want to show you something out this way now. So you have your own private deck out here and you can come out here and enjoy some ocean views as well as our barn. I'm going to take you down to the basement and then I'm going to take you down to the beach. And the last room in the house is actually, it was kind of thrown together with a whole bunch of leftover stuff. And it ends up being kind of one of my favorites. It's a really cute room, so come on in. So I found the headboard off of the marketplace on Facebook. The bedding is just some bedding that I've had. The artwork is thrift store fine. I had that end table for forever and I painted it out in just spray paint. And it really just kind of has a cozy, nice nautical feel in here.
if you're interested in renting this house, I provided the links below. Thank you so much for watching this episode this week. Let me know your favorite part, your favorite room in my house in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos on DIY, home decor, and really all things home related. I really appreciate the support and we'll see you soon.